radio encryption keys have been added to the game, and they work simply by you can pop the encryption key out of any headset. So for example, the cargo headset has the supply channel, and I have a service headset. So if I take a screwdriver to the cargo headset, I can simply put, pull the key out and put mine in. It's instantaneous, and now I have the extra channels. And what you can do is you can screwdriver it again, and as you see, it pops out all the encryption keys, and then the, it breaks the headset as well. So you need to have an encryption in to keep the core functionality. And you can basically play collect them all to make the super headset or just steal one from a head and then put it in your own. And then it won't be as obvious unless somebody checks the channels it can use. But cool change. Some emotes were given audible sounds like laps or snaps or laughs. <laughs> Uh, they have been getting spammed quite often, but um, adds a little bit of more ambience to the station, makes it sound a little bit more alive, and hopefully they put a cooldown on it because you can... <laughs> <laughs> it gets a little insane spamming. You can imagine what it sounds like with multiple people. Revolvers can now be alt-clicked to dump all the ammo out of them. Uh, definitely saves having to right-click and then empty the revolver, but without speed loader, you still got to spam click reload it. Be good with your clicks, but at least unloading them is a uh, uh, less clicks now. The leather satchel was added. Uh, it isn't anything really special in terms of like storage. It's still just a 100 slot storage, but it has a nifty little sprite on the side. And if the change logs anything to go off of, uh, from what I understand, was that a very used item on uh, TG station. Maybe other stations, I'm not sure, but. I watched a few Libra videos and he pretty much always had a leather satchel, so I guess I get the uh, cultural importance, so to speak, of it. The security tech fab can now print entire boxes of ammo. Uh, this is, again, another great addition because now it, uh, you can transfer ammo boxes directly into um, magazines. So you can actually pack mags without having to make 60 bullets, which would end up being over 120 clicks because you'd have to right-click the bullet, pick the bullet up, and then do it again. Actually, so it could be almost like... Yeah, it would be like 90 to 120 clicks, depending on the gun. And that was extremely excessive. So now it is down to however many clicks it takes to fill a magazine for how many bullets you're missing. Very awesome change. And a great quality of life for security. Because people barely use this thing. And if they did, it was for Trank Darts, and those got nerfed, so you don't really see those. And then you would see Shotgun Shells, because, um, like, the flares are extremely powerful, and shells just have more bang for the buck. And also, sometimes a detective would get bullets, but awesome change. And last but not least, uh, Detroit 2, aka Baratree Station, has been added to the game, or re-added, depending on how you look at it. Um, the layout's similar. In a lot of ways, but there's some different tweaks for sure. Uh, I'll do full light so you can actually see. Um, Baratree, in its prime concept, is a very understocked, run-down, hellish station, so to speak. Um, there is a lot wrong with the station. There are holes in maintenance. There's fucking landmines <laughs> in maintenance. Um, but there's some really cool things to find in maintenance, and it's, honestly, the maintenance is almost more stock than some other maps because of this. It's inherently dangerous, but the stations themselves are under, or the, the departments themselves are understocked. Uh, the station has a very odd layout, not because it's, like, a weird layout in general. It's just, like, there's constant holes in maintenance like this that go into the hallway, and without having direct maintenance lines things get spaced more often, so, like, your routes around the station get cut off very quickly from one bomb. So, in a way, bombs are way more devastating on this station if people don't actually fix them. Because, like, the only thing stopping this entire extra area getting spaced is one inflatable, and then another inflatable, and that's a very common design. There's just one piece of inflatables in many places. But, anyways, there were other things this week, but I just covered the big things. I Like, I didn't cover the bug fixes of the features that were added the day before, because... Most people didn't even get to experience them. Um, anyways, yeah, I encourage you all to read through the change logs, just like I normally do. Uh, thank all of our contributors and maintainers for keeping the game running, adding new stuff. Um, 
I also didn't uncover the turret types because it seems like a bigger patch, but nothing, no one, they're not implemented in any way yet. So like when they get their implementation, then I'll cover them. But uh, other than that, that's it for now. Small week, but still a great week. Uh, thank you all for watching. Have a good one.